Hello everyone and welcome to Chatelaine Makes. I'm Lorraine and just going to give you, show you a little something. My husband was on his way to work and down in our parkade we have a table where people can leave stuff that they don't um, want anymore or they don't need and anybody else can um, uh, pick it up. So I'm going to turn the camera around and show you what he brought in. Okay, so here is the big box now. What I thought and what he thought was full of yarn is not, but there is still quite a bit of yarn. So this is the really thick blank, uh, Burnett blanket. So I have a white one here. <laughs> I don't know where this where's the end. <laughs> okay. Uh, let's see here. Oh. oh I got more <laughs> and more. Oops, oh, so I think I'm almost at the end. Oh, no, you know what? <laughs> There's a ball on the end. Okay, so we have that. We have a two pack in the pink, which is, okay, um, let me see. There's pattern on it. Okay, so this color is tan pink. Um, it is number six, 100% uh, polyester, 300 grams or, or 10.5 um, uh, ounces, 220 yards. So I have that one. I have the same in the blue, the blue which is called um, Smoky Blue. Looks like I have another one of those. So I have no idea what that is. Somebody was making something. Looks like they were making a blanket using those three colors and this mesh, which has on both sides it doesn't feel too bad here is looks like one that is almost complete and I have a, another pink ball then down the bottom here is some Christmas oh that's a top of a Christmas tree looks like mostly down here is Christmas stuff some kind of fancy lamp some of this stuff will be going back most of this stuff in here oh like the prism lights empty cookie container A Merry Christmas sign. So anyways, my husband brought it up mostly because uh, of the yarn that was in it. So who doesn't love uh, free yarn? So this one going back and this. Okay, which leaves me with this nice little haul which that's not too bad considering it was free so then round okay and this is going to be hard to do but I'm going to show you my tag that I'm doing I did run out of the um, 
block the white and black that I was using. So what I did was I have added to the shoulder with the black. With the black on the top. And I am going to use black for the trim. So I do still need to uh, figure out where my armholes are and um, finish sewing that up and then do the trim. And I did do my neck. I did a little closer together. Um, I didn't do um, as much of a scoop um, as I did in my first in my first uh, top. So we do have our uh, live coming up this coming Tuesday um, at 12 noon uh, Mountain Daylight Time, which is 2 o'clock Eastern and 1 Central and 11 Pacific. Any other times, please Google. Um, hopefully you can come and watch our, and participate in our live. Um, I did uh, just do the set that up, so hopefully uh, YouTube will let you um, know and set a reminder. Um, I am also participating, going to be participating in a make the bag, felt the bag. I'm not sure about the second hashtag. Um, it is being uh, sponsored by and pr um, provided by uh, Bev from Dittmer Knittery. Um, so if you you can knit or you can crochet a bag, um, which starts on the I believe on the 16th of July, uh, I will try and put her um, a link to that uh, make along in the description box um, so you can either knit or crochet and felting is totally optional um, she does have some nice prizes um, and uh, if you go over and check out her uh, video she can tell you all about it uh, myself and Gina are participating uh, as well as I'm sure a bunch of other people but that's the only other person that I know that's uh, participating in it and actually it was one of Gina's videos that uh, I had seen and heard of it and then went over to uh, watch Bev's um, videos on it um, it's hotter than heck here in Alberta but not as hot as in BC. British Columbia uh, has wildfires now going on um, so prayers and thoughts for them. Um, a lot of people in uh, I believe it's Lytton have um, lost their homes due to the fires and uh, so those of us who are lucky and don't have the extreme extreme heat as they do in British Columbia. Um, let us be thankful. And uh, some there's always worse heat. Um, we, we are lucky we can have our fans going and our AC if we have. Um, so, uh, like I said, at least we still have a roof over our heads. Um, so uh, I wanted to make this short and I'm just under 10 minutes now. I don't want to make it too long. Um, just a reminder for the hashtag one cal collab, uh, the live on this coming Tuesday, and um, letting you know about uh, uh, Dit Murray Nettery's uh, new make along that's coming up. Um, so, everybody, take care, and uh, we'll see you next time. Bye for now.